Okay, back into the Nightmare Zone. I think this is episode 39. What does my desktop say? Okay, so last episode was 38. That means, yes, episode 39. Nightmare Zone with the Rousey Protocols active. So I got to help people out and be a no good goody two-shoe. So... What are we going to do today? Well, we're basically at the point on the map where everything is more or less secure. There aren't really any improvements to the base that I want to make. So we're just going to go back to what we were doing before. We're going to help people and we're going to probably start working on clearing these plague hearts. Uh, today I did... I just like yesterday I said I wasn't feeling too good, so I decided to make an exception and not turn my alarm on so that I could actually get a little extra sleep, and I don't like to do that too often because it's hard for me to... It's hard for me to keep my schedule consistent if I don't wake up at the same time every day. And it, it gets really convenient when I have other priorities. But, uh, yeah, I wound up waking up at about 11 a.m. But I felt really good. I felt absolutely fine. Who are we playing as right now? Mackie? Let's put all this stuff back in. Looks like we got a mission to do with Caleb. And that leads me to believe that uh, I wasn't getting sick. I think I was just probably just What's stress. Because, like, stress can actually begin to have physical effect on your body. It's nice to know that there are still some good people out there. We're the Titanic, and that plan is a big fucking iceberg. If... Let's see what Mackie has to say about this. It's not worth risking our necks for these folks. We don't want- we don't need their help. We're strong enough on our own. Well, you're wrong. We all need the help we can get around- about against the blood plague, so... I'm not sure I'm buying this idea. We're gonna go ahead and do that. I can't remember if we fight humans in this, so I'm gonna assume the answer is we do. But uh, if we do, I can always rearm at a at any one of our outposts. Uh, I need some snacks, painkillers. Okay, we should be good. So today I decided to work on more video content. And I decided to get back into the Heartland to begin progressing on that. Because I still want to do three more videos on Heartland. I want to do an actual review of Heartland. I want to do uh, the base review and I want to do a weapons review. And I am nearly ready to do both of those actually. Like, I've gotten far enough in the game. I Basically, because you get different facilities, depending on which character you choose, I had to create a second account on Xbox, because you only get one save file per account, which is really annoying. But, um, I created a second account, and so I started working on beating the game again, so that we could actually... So that we can actually see the facilities, and I can organize them, and I can do a review with both of the facilities reviewed. Both sides of the facilities reviewed. In addition to that, I was able to get one of every Echo weapon, and those are, like, kind of the main prize of completing Heartland, so I am going to do a weapon review. Definitely not going as fast as I would like to, but... 
part of that is a combination of poor work ethic and then also just being kind of overwhelmed with the quantity of videos I need to do. I haven't made any progress on mechanics, and mainly because yesterday, like, I wasn't feeling too good, and I still wanted to do something. And if I'm not, if I'm really, really not feeling good, and I know that I just can't force myself to do it, then I'll just do whatever I am willing to do, even if it's a lower priority. But I made a good enough progress on that day that I decided that to, uh, that today I would follow up on that progress. Because I was actually motivated to do it. And I always like to strike while the iron is hot if I'm motivated for something. Hey. Catch in a bit. Let's see what this person wants. We got our eye on a site nearby with good medical supplies. Problem is it's infested. If you come help us lock it down, you can call on us whenever you need emergency supply drop. Sure. I'm glad to hear it. Of course I'll Where is the location? Right there. So let's go over here and get some equipment to clear the infestation. I know a lot of people want me to do more reviews, but man, they... they the only reason I was able to do the reviews as quickly as I could originally is because the home base reviews, they just didn't require very much effort. They were so much easier to do than the skill reviews. The skill reviews are just so much harder. And I could do the skill reviews faster, but that's something that I'm still getting used to. Where is the locker? Okay, it's in the back. Go ahead and grab these. And those. There's so many videos I want to do that... It's just, uh... It's kind of like when you begin, if you think about back to school... And you have like an essay to do and you're just looking at that blank piece of paper and you're like, damn, where do I start? That's how it is, except you've got like nine essays to do and you're like, which one, which one do I do? That's kind of how it feels for me. Did that thing just magically clean itself? Almost got a bit worked up there. Do that again, would you? I'd like to tell you something. What a what, what riveting dialogue! It's like, oh, go worked up there. Like we did nothing. Do that again. I must tell you something. Like that's the this is the erudite dialogue. It's like Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Unfortunately, it looks like this whole neighborhood is infested. We can't move in here until we clear more of the buildings. We've come this far. Might as well get the job done. I'll be right behind you. Oh, looks like it doesn't matter that that was a self-cleaning infestation. We've got two more. Hey, it looks like it's becoming daytime, so that's actually good news. It looks like we can take this little road off to the side to get to it. Uh, what kind of building is this? I can't tell because of the thing. It looks like it's just a house. Throw a distraction in. Since we have a follower, I don't want to move around too much, because... 
there's a possibility that the follower will bump into me and come out of stealth briefly. Kind of an awkward throw over the hill, but... Good enough. One more. So someone asked uh, what I meant by the game needs more mechanics when I was talking about, like, I really don't care if Undead Labs adds more guns. If they're just going to add more guns, like the World War II guns, then I don't think that does anything for the game. Because those guns, they just don't make a difference. They're not, like, meaningful content. What we need is content that causes you to play the game differently. Either from the perspective that it's a new type of enemy or a new type of threat, and therefore you need to react to it differently, or it's different in that it's a it's a weapon that has a distinctly di or a consumable that has a distinctly different use that makes it gives it just a totally different play style. That's what we need, like. We need items that change the way you play the game. Hey, that guy's an armored zombie. for the screamer. Thought that was the that's the screamer right there. Got it. Our trust. When you need help taking this town back from the blood plague, let us know. Glad to hear it. Enjoy your new home. Uh -huh. This is a good alliance for us. We provide protection and they prov- Went away before I could finish reading it. Oh wait, I gotta talk to her again. Sheriff, you've earned our trust. What? When you need help taking this town back from the blood plague, let us know. Sheriff, you've earned our Okay, trust. I'm talking. Sheriff, 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 you've earned our trust. When you need help taking this town back from the blood plague, let us know. Is it glitched? Hang on, I'm coming to you. It might be bugged. Okay, so this quest might be bugged, which would be annoying. The horde is heading over. Oh, with the triple ferals. Oh. 
I'll tell you one thing, when I review this game, as much as I like Stave Decay, do not expect it to get a very good rating. Like, there is... The game is just too buggy for me to give the game a good rating. Even though I do like it and play it, obviously, on a regular basis, I just could not in good conscience give the game a good rating. And I, it's so buggy that it just can't be given a good rating due to... It's just unacceptably buggy. Let me see if I can talk to her again. Get rid of her. You've earned our trust. When you need help taking this town back from the blood plague, let us know. This is so dumb. Hello. So okay, this is the one where we gotta help find that person. Where is the... Okay, it's over back towards our base. Let's head back towards our headquarters. Actually, let's refuel. Even though the bugs and glitches in this game are not game-breaking, they are just constant reminders that you're not playing a product of high craftsmanship. It's like, you would never accept another product that has the quantity of flaws with it as the as this game has this game just that and like i said it's it, they are game breaking glitches sometimes they can cause crashes and whatnot but for the most part they are not game breaking glitches but like i said just they are just a constant reminder that the game you're playing is of poor craftsmanship and like you just can't give a game a good grading as a result of that Otherwise, you spread a message that poor craftsmanship is acceptable. But uh, going back to mechanics, like what kind of mechanics do I want to see? I want to see new enemies. Like I don't, I don't. We don't need more weapons. Like we've got enough new weapons. What we need are new threats to use our new our current weapons on. That's what we really need. New types of enemies. New types of environmental hazards, like maybe they could have some kind of new disease, new type of uh, sickness that you have to combat in addition to the blood plague. But either way, we need some type of new pressures in the game. Okay, so what did I want to do while I was here? I wanted to burn some of these infestations. Got it. And of course... Wait, what if I change characters? Could I just get rid of that? Yeah, because this, this quest is broken. We're just going to switch off this character. Wow, this weapon is almost broken as well. Let's just swap this one in for now. Put the Grillmeister away. Um, is there anyone in particular we need to play as? No. We'll just play as Mackie. Keeping busy. So we can save on gas. Basically, we're gonna play as Mackie whenever convenient, just to save on gasoline. Okay, it's one, two, it's the third one. Arrows. This. Okay, we need to build more distractions.
Let's double up our payload just just to be safe. There's good people here. Peggy. Oh, she must be the person that is glitched out. But as you can see, it appears that those juggernauts have disappeared from last time. And I guess it's not becoming daylight. I guess the lighting just kind of deceived me a little bit. Fire in the hole. Looks like there's a fence in the way. Oh my gosh. I just can't hit him for the life of me right now. That's the screamer right there, actually. That's a juggernaut. Looks like our infestation problem is over for now. Really, you saw me? Oh, that's Peggy, actually. Let's call in the sniper support to deal with Make this sure juggernaut. A watching my back, okay? My turn. I'm starting to feel terrible. Be careful. Okay, still got credit for it. Even though she glitched out and inconvenienced me, I will save her because... Oh, that's what Rousey would do. I didn't vocalize it, but at, at that moment, I was kind of like, oh good, that... That bitch is gonna die. Oh, hopefully I'll demonetize me for that. This might not have been necessary. The sniper support might get him. Looks like some hungry deadheads are wandering in. Not a problem, just letting you know. Okay, I'm out. You can take this from here. Wait, I bet it's my gamma. That's what it is. No, it's not my gamma. Strange is that. It's just the strange... Yeah, it, it is becoming day. I don't know why it's just, like freaking me out. It's like, I don't know. Weird. Now here's a good thing to... okay, so normally those zombies would have heard it, but we do have the... what do you call it? 50% vehicle stealth? And that's why those zombies there did not hear it. Because normally they would have heard that. I feel like I've killed so many, I mean, I guess some of them were generated by quests, but still, it's like, I feel like I destroyed a lot of infestations the other day as well. It's like, are they, did there really need to be this many infestations? Okay, we're clear on infestations. And then he needs to, like, chuckle about... Let's kill these bloaters just because... What's he doing? He's like... What's this guy doing? Wow. Wow. I literally can't even. There, I get to say that once in my life.
See, some people who are listening, they're going to be like, yeah, Fox is being too critical of the game. Like, you know, it's just some glitches. You know, like, how does it make it feel like you're, you're, you're playing a game that's of poor craftsmanship? There are going to be some people who are disagreeing. If I shoot him in the leg, he'll trip. <laughs> oh, man, this game. This game is so poorly, uh, poorly debugged. And I don't want to hear it that game development is hard. There are both... Indie developers, there are people who are one-man developments that are more capable of debugging their games than Undead Labs. If I remember right, this is where all those Juggernaut, that Juggernaut appeared, popped out of the, uh, the trailer. I think this is that area, this is a really familiar feeling. What am I supposed to do when I find them? Hello? Hello? Oh, good. Scared the crap out of me. I thought he was going to be a zombie. Let's just get out of here. It's not safe. I'll follow you. If we didn't have you folks around to help us, I don't know what we do. I guess you'd still be hiding inside that shed, we are pretty bad which had zombies. absolutely zero zombies nearby. It was actually completely safe for him to... to leave. In fact, me rescuing him would have brought more danger to him, just from the noise. Well, at least... Even though we're doing a lot of driving right now, we have the benefit of having Mackie, who's going to help us save some fuel. And even though, yes, Peggy, we didn't get to do our quest, we tried. You know, the, uh, the Rousey protocols, they don't say I have to succeed. They say I just need to try and give it an honest shot. Oh, that's a bloater. No, it's, oh, yep, that was a bloater. Wait, what am I stopping here for? Looks like nobody cleaned this dump out yet. Um, can I get any of them? Nope. They all watch the Matrix. That's also part of the reason why so people always ask me, when am I going to do additional games from State of Decay 2? Once again, uh, it, it's all related to the issue that... I'm not even fully capable of covering State of, De De State of Decay 2 on my own yet. I haven't developed the, uh, the work ethic for it. It's nothing. So until I can do that, I'm... Hesitant to branch out to other games. I also absolutely will not be doing in-depth reviews of other games. Like, I will probably do playthroughs at the best, because... The State of Decay... Oh, that's right, Zombie Threaded Home. The guides on their own are already super time-consuming. I think it would just be completely unrealistic for me to do guides on more than one game at a time. To the same level of detail. Like, it would just be... It's just not feasible. Oh god. So I dodged it on the way there, but not on the way back. They heard the screamer, unfortunately, because the car rolled forward a little bit. I can still hear the fumes, so I'm not getting in, even though the visual indicator of it was... 
gun. All these zombies. They seem to like to congregate in this general area on this road. They seem to just love this road. This road is like Zombieville or something. These guys are definitely going to get attracted. And that is a lot of fucking zombies. We're making too much damn noise around. Might as well get more pyro launcher ammo out cuz uh I think the ferals and all those extra zombies are going to wind up showing up. Now oh, they're all just coming right over here to me, too. Fortunately, all I gotta do is climb up here. Let me just do this real quick. Emergency medicine to heal myself. It's not one thing. There's the jug. Okay, looks like they... And I can do this, switch back to this. During the cutscene. Zombies lose again. Let's sweep the base real quick. Still in the way, good. We need to get the vehicle fixed up. Okay, so we're clear. Now what we're going to do is reactivate all of these. Turn that on to start saving some food. Turn this on. Let's use that. We could upgrade this. I don't see any point to it at the moment, though. Okay, that's everything. This guy's going back on guard duty. And we don't have any other missions, so now we can play as whoever we want. Except for Mackie, since he's beat up. Plays Ladislaw. Plays Simmons a while. And now that we're out of the game's generated objectives, let's go do some of our own objectives. Let's go destroy some play guards, I guess. But uh let's destroy some play guards with other things. So let's destroy these two right here. And I'll use a different thing. So let's use... We'll use a gun on one of them. Let's try the DevGru out. I bet the DevGru will do really well. A little bit of extra ammo just to be safe. A scent block is also fine. 
Ah, oh, I need to make a scent block. Okay, we need to activate that before we leave. Here's a scent block. And let's... What should we use? Uh, the Gangland Strad? Maybe we should try... Prepper's AK-47 on the other one. We'll try that. On good days like these, I think, maybe one day I could have myself a real family again. And... Resupply a little bit. Should we bring an emergency weapon just in case? Bring the pyro launcher just in case. Just in case we need to finish them off. I don't think we will. Like that, that should be enough firepower to bring down the play guards. We do need to repair though. One. Two. We got to put these in in order to bring these out. What we'll try, we'll try to do. I'll probably, I'll try to use a different weapon on each play guard. I won't use redundant weapons though. Like I'm not going to use like Prepper's AK-47 and then like RTX Stormbringer because they're basically the same kinds of weapons. We do need a fuel can. And we're good to go. These guys. Man, let's not run into a juggernaut now. Run him over for no reason at all. And we won't just use guns, we'll use, like, I might do, like, you know, how many soda bombs will it take to kill a... Oh, wait, we didn't activate this, did we? They're slightly off-centered, but close enough. Oh, man, we're gonna drive in the right lane, like, responsible human beings. This feels like 55 miles per hour, too, so we're, we're even going the speed limit. Feels a little slower than 55 miles per hour, actually, but... So many enemies. I just can't have a drive in peace in the morning. Okay, so it's inside that building right there. Sent okay. lock on. Now where's that plague heart hiding? I've worked in uglier places. Whoa, my aim is going crazy again. Switch to automatic fire. Wow, thank you. Just pick up man. So it took about one magazine. I think it took a little bit less than one mag, but about basically one magazine. Let's grab this and move on to the next one. What building was this? Chill Swillers? So it was, let me look at it a second time. Chill, Swill Chillers. And this one is the Taggers Post Office, I think it said.
Let's also remove this suppressor because we don't we're not concerned about being loud and uh, that's a really low quality suppressor that's just going to cause a lot more damage to the weapon. This thing has a pretty large magazine. It's got or I think it's a drum mag of 75 rounds so Let's see how this performs. Where's the heart? Oh, here it is. Switch it to auto. Okay. So it took about 50-ish rounds. So if you had a regular AK, you would have to reload, which would eat up a bit of time. But if you got one of these high-capacity weapons, pretty good. Yeah, so Tapper's Stall Post Office. Our nearest outpost is a little bit far away, but that's where we're going to go to uh, deposit this stuff. Like, I don't want to take too many risks with extending these, because, you know, like, I don't know how fast we can actually destroy these. Well, I mean, now we've seen how fast we can destroy them, but... Anybody listening out there? Here's a hand. We also wound up getting a mysterious broadcast. So first I want to drop this off, then we will at least accept the quest, then we're going to, instead of doing the quest immediately, we're going to go back and loot the plague hearts. Accepting a quest should just take it off of the, the time limit that it has. Get this weapon out real quick. That'll put an end to that feral. We have gunslinging which makes these weapons much more effective. Without gunslinging, they would take a very long time to reload. We'll go back to regular scale of combat. Let's make some more arrows. Reload. Put this away, get the pyro launcher back out. This one is the least damaged. Normally we want eight free slots, but this is fine for now. Okay, so what do you want? Friend was meeting? Okay, so this is one of the easier ones. Where's the meeting location at? Right over there. So first, let's go over here. Where was it again? I think it was in- it was in one of these weird- it was, okay, it was in this back room. Where am I gonna put that? 
Okay, we need to put something back. I forgot to put something in the car. Free up a slot. Did it the same thing? This building is very unfamiliar to me. I don't, I don't remember ever entering this specific post office model. Gotta catch my breath. We'll drop this off and then we'll go help that person who's like stranded or whatever it, the issue was. Then we'll head back and loot the other play guard. What did we get? We got heavy painkillers, snacks, repair kit, replica bastard sword, large pack, combat knife. We'll hang on to those because we'll always get more. And a juggernaut. Getting a little nosy. It's a juggernaut! Tell your sniper to cover me. I think I'm gonna need him. Nighter. Put this away as planned. Oh my god, two more juggernauts. Can I get to him in time? Yes, that did count. Okay, if this person needs help over there, let's grab the BFG just in case. Just in case. I mean, that's really not that far away. So much for this place. Okay, this is the person we're supposed to rescue. There's a ton of brainless gathering around. We're gonna have a problem soon. Come over here for a little chat. Let's just make as much noise as possible. What was that? There's a ton of brainless gathering around. We're gonna have a problem soon. <sighs> Will she get in in time? Yes, she will. Let's uh, bump this gently. Get him off. We just repaired this vehicle, too. Thanks for bringing me out back there. I picked up some extra scent block and cleaning station. We'll take the scent block. Take care. What I get about four there? Yeah, that's pretty good. That was actually pretty worthwhile. Let's go back. Refuel and repair.
We're gonna hang out. We're gonna actually no. We're gonna, we need to open up our inventory a little bit. What am I looking for? Repair kits. I need to build more. One. Two. Starting to dig into our parts a little bit. Probably about time we scrap some gear. I'll do that off screen though, because that's not particularly interesting to watch. Okay, now we need to clear our inventory. We want about eight slots free. We'll, we'll assume we don't need to shoot more than ten times. And if we're wrong, then we'll just run away and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We will refuel. That's one thing we'll do. So what we're going to do is grab the stuff at the Chill Swillers and then we'll head home, empty out what we got, and sign out. Chill Swillers was, I think, right here. Yeah, Swill Chillers. Whatever the hell that thing is called. That place. That place that we're going to. Space for lease. Well, the only people who are going to be leasing that are the zombies, so... Yeah, he didn't hear it. Let's get in there and get our stuff and get out. We can look at what we got later. While we are turning the car on, mark our home base, start heading home. Well, that's bad advice, Meredith. You should never be in an infestation. You should always lure the infestation out and then destroy it. See, Meredith is a noob. No idea what he's talking about. And even if he was using inaccurate language and was, and was saying in an infestation as a figure of speech, still... It's a bad figure of speech. Bad figure, a bad figure of speech for someone who is supposedly giving advice to people. Wow, we almost had those pop-in enemies on us right there. Oh, oh, let's not have a bloater. We already had that happen once. Drive around these guys. As I said with the horde icons, you don't know if they are a regular zombie horde or if they're actually a horde of unique zombies. Wow. But we didn't even hit, as you saw, we didn't even really hit them that hard either. We just kind of grazed it. And well, you know we grazed it because. Don't shoot. It's just me. That's an. I've never heard him say that line before. Don't shoot. It's just me. 
Um. Well, wow. one time we need to use the back entrance and it's blocked, but we got this entrance as well. Just have to assume they'll be okay for a moment. So what do we got? Soda, fire, bandages, hunter's viper, screwdriver. Hey, mind your own business, you zombie. I'm trying to review my loot. Look at this guy. Leave me alone. Let me look at my loot. What's he, what's he doing? I've never seen him use that animation before. He's like pounding the building. Is that like a new anime? I've never seen that before. Let me get my BFG out real quick. But yeah, we need to thin out the- see how long it's taking me to scroll to the bottom? Like, that means we have too many. Really? The answer is yes, really. While I'm in this state, I'm gonna go ahead and cure my plague level. Oh, I gotta reload. The, the weapon does need ammo. That is an issue that it can have. Didn't get any influence from that one, even though I did all the basically all the damage on it. Man. We have to repair that vehicle even more now. So we're going to be putting something like six repair kits in that vehicle today. Kind of ridiculous. But at the same time, uh, we do have a lot of weapons to scrap, so... Go ahead and use the better quality ones. Since it's like actually destroyed. As I was saying, though, like, we just barely grazed that Juggernaut, too, because it didn't stop our momentum. And we put the medicine in. We can put one in. Now we gotta run all the way over here. That's it, I'm sick of running over here. We're gonna move the van. We're just gonna have the van share a spot with the trekker. We'll like park it half and half. It's stupid that this is parked over here. Close enough. Okay, can, is there anything in here that we can put in? Put one of these in. Put the ammo in. Because we'll just use the ammo to create some of that. What's our ammo capacity? 28. Let's make one more. 
There we go. Okay, all is good. Let's make some more storage space before we start losing stuff. Oh, so many repair kits were put into that vehicle. Jeez, I don't think I've ever had to repair a vehicle as many times as in this episode. That was really, uh, I don't even feel like I drove, like, particularly recklessly either. Like, I've had much more reckless drives in other episodes, but I, I don't even know it was causing the damage if it was popping enemies or something. But either way, that vehicle took a ton of repairs today. So we got a decent bit done, destroyed some play guards, did some quests, burned a bunch of infestations. That's one thing that annoys me in Nightmare Zone is... The infestations are like, they become rather inconveniencing, and not in a way where it's like, oh god, it's making the game so hard, more in like a, it's just frustrating. Because they're not hard to get rid of. They're not even hard to get rid of in the beginning of the game. You can just use Molotovs and uh, Firecrackers, because mol uh, Firecrackers, they only cost 15 parts. It's like nothing. And then uh, Molotovs... Yes, they require a bit more fuel, but in the beginning of the game, you could, there's all the places that are unlooted. You can get fuel, and you won't get nine, but you'll get six, and six is enough to destroy four infestations, assuming that you don't even get... I mean, that's assuming that I'm not giving you some generosity and that you get one infestation burned in a single throw. So, infestations, a little annoying... Influence is maxed out, so next time we should probably spend some influence. Oh, that's why I didn't get influence from the Juggernaut. It's because I was uh, maxed out. I was at 9.99. I need to scrap some gear. I'll probably do that in between episodes. But hey, that's about it. Things are going pretty well. Still got more to do. I'll experiment with more weapons and equipment and whatnot. Got to do more work as well on Heartland and on the Mechanics episode. But hey, that is that. Like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future State of K2 content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.